Hi guys and welcome to another little video instalment. If any of you watched my last video, you will see that at the beginning of May, after being made redundant, I decided that I was going to learn how to draw. And if you haven't watched that video, watch it now and then come back to this one. Alright guys, now I've always believed that I could never draw. And if you watch the last video, you will see that, that in the first slide that that impression of mine was quite right. But by the first week of going through Mark Kistler's book, Learn How to Draw, I was really shocked that I was actually picking up skills and developing things. And so it inspired me to carry on with the project right up until the very last page of the book. So I've done 30 days worth of learning how to draw because that's what his book was set out to, to teach people, that you can learn how to draw in 30 days. And some of the exercises were easier than, than others and some were really quite hard. But you know what, the most amazing thing was that, that in this journey of self-discovery that I actually discovered that I could actually draw. And maybe it was just having that confidence within my own abilities. Now obviously I'm, I'm not as good as some of the big artists out there or, or, or sketchers as, as whatever because I've never done it before. Um, I've only had literally 30 days worth of experience. Now, after I finish speaking, I'm going to put some slides up that I'll run for about four or five seconds each so that you can actually see what day the lessons are and the date that I did them in. And the last two images you will see are two manga creations, which I did from this book called Mastering Manga by Mark Crilly. Um, and it was about doesn't actually say what I think it was about 15 pounds worth on Amazon and I opened the covers of that yesterday morning and already through even though his instructions aren't as detailed as as, as Mark Kistler's book I'll show you a couple of the inside pages he goes through it step by step of what you need to do and it's it's pretty it's pretty comprehensive um, and you know you, you start off with a basic circle and you do the lines and da, 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 and and that the girl's face is what you should end up with but he does say in there you can have a little bit of room to play around with um, and so I've taken that quite literally now the, the first image from his book um, is a girl of brown hair and the second one I've done today is a girl with blonde hair and the amazing thing is though that, that I never thought it would be possible if, if someone had said to me even four months ago you're going to be doing a video about drawing, I would have laughed in their face like a hyena. But it just shows that you're never too old to learn something new. And, you know, the thing is that, that as we get older, sometimes we do become more conscious about the things that we can't do as opposed to the things that we can do really well. And I decided I wanted to break that kind of silly thought pattern. So that's what I decided to do. And I've done this journey and, and I've done the, the Pinterest board as well, where I've kind of experimented with different things. And you know what? The thing that I've learned from it is it's been really good fun. It's caused me no stress at all. I've, I've not got annoyed with myself or, or, and I never once thought, you know, Chris, you can't do this. Why are you wasting your time? And, and the, the amazing thing that's actually happened to me is that, that instead of thinking 
in negative terms about my own abilities, it's actually turned it on its head and produced a lot more positive results in everything that I do now because I just just like look at those boards on Pinterest um, or Pinterest rather Pinterest I always pronounce it wrong and it's been amazing it's it's like um, it's 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 like a breath of, of fresh air that's come into the room and it's it's really astounding to, to what you can do with literally an hour's um, of work a day and that's that's all it's taken to do the actual physical pencil drawing was an hour I scanned it in via the scanner in some cases I went into Illustrator to do the ink line so they look look sharp and more bolder more so than a pencil could ever do um, and then I take that into photo Photoshop and then do the color colorization and tweak it around and, and all the rest of it and that's where the real fun of, of going mad with the colours comes into. And you can do your own thing. So I'm going to shut up now. Have a look at the images. And if you feel as though you want to drop a line, not to say, well done, brilliant for doing it, but to ask questions about my journey on this new new adventure then feel free to do so i'll be more than happy to to, to answer any you know messages or, or comments or whatever um because this is all about a journey of self-discovery and that the self-discovery bit is learning that you know you're never too old to learn something new i never thought i could do it and here i am a month later having completed two manga drawings that I'd sit in the bookshops reading manga thinking oh if only if only if only well now the if only is a reality if that can happen to me at my age then it can happen for you give it a go you've got nothing to lose and as I say if you want to drop me a line feel free to do so and I'll do my very very best to to answer any questions that you may have but please be aware, I am no expert by any stretch of the imagination. I can only answer questions based on the stuff that I've learned from these books that I've been reading thus far. Okay, take care and enjoy the slides.